we got a new tool mainly is making for the bowl using the scrap ribbons so this is how the package will come in and we are working on the color box when you get it the two small one will be in the middle and you just screw in it's very easy for traveling you can unscrew and then pack them back so what i do i use two and a half or you can make a big bowl by using a full 11 inch on the root I have to make sure you have a strong backing so what i do if you have longer ribbon you can do two tail like this with a one loop or two loop what i did is i staple them i just staple on the both sides so when you pinch it it's easier you do half and you pinch it this is three you can decide what the color how it go and then i will curve so you can get it where the spot you want to go and then when you do it make sure the stable is inside so you when you tight don't hurt the hands okay i have to go this way So when you make this ball, you can just uh, decide what color go together. You don't have to be exactly the same pattern for everyone you do. Even if I only have, if I only have a 14 inch or 17 inch, whatever you do. Hey y'all. Hi. Eamon, I need you to show me how to improve it. Is very famous to making the pretty balls, right? We try. So whatever the square ribbon you have left, you can use them. And what I do is, I like the longer tail, so I do 17 inch, and then I keep little bit. This way you can put wherever the position you want and you can decide the length you want. So I want this one and this one. This is the focal point they want. I like to pre cut the tail. Duck tail is so I don't have to mess up the bowl. It will be come out with 20 some ribbons. When you want to duck tail, it's really difficult. So I just see which way I want to go. You can put on the bottom one or you can put on the middle one. And you just twist it and you put it in there. It will hold in a place for you. And if you have to go, you just put it in, you can come back. Then So when you're using the square ribbon, whatever the focal point you have, and you can pull the color together. I always use the cheaper one on the bottom because the expensive one will pop on the top. And when I twist, I will be long and short because this way you can do the position easier. 
then you always can adjust the place you want. And I like the loop, one left, one right. So, see, I have a curve, then I will change it because the inside you have more ribbon to cover than the top. You still can use it. I just measure by the size. Actually, this is about eight inch. You bend it ready so when you tie it, it's much easier. Okay, this is my one and a half, and I come to when you measure the bowl, you always slip about an inch so you can have that tail still show. a lot of different ribbons so whatever you have you can use it when I come to the top it needs to pop up I just stop it
These are new scissors. We can cut a layer ribbon with a wire. So you like? I like 7 8 to break up the tightiness of the ball. I put this in the middle so when you tight, they are more in the center. Twist it so it don't pop too much in the center. But because they already pre-shaped. Because the base I use very strong ribbon, so they hold up very good on the button. I like to twist, curl my one and a half, uh, seven eighths ribbon to get them more depth. So, and what I do, I just Hangers right in. Yeah. Beautiful. 